Hey everybody, welcome to the 2021 Western and Southern Open Virtual Draw Show presented by Porsche. I'm Andrew Krasny. And I'm Blair Henley. Boy, is it incredible to be back here, Blair. To tell you the truth, I'm a little emotional. We've been away for almost two years. It's been a couple of years. I cannot tell you how great it is to be standing here on the grounds at the Linder Family Tennis Center. And boy, do we have a tournament ready for you. The biggest tennis tournaments, the Western and Southern Open, is being moved out of the Tri-State this year and up to New York City. This is because of the pandemic. This is not a permanent thing. It is just a one-year move. And all indications are that the tournament will return here to Mason next summer. Welcome along to Cincinnati. Well, welcome along to Center Court at the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati. If you like your big hitting tennis, this is the place to be. What kind of car would you dream up if the road you took to work was known around the world for not having a speed limit? Well, if you were Porsche, that car would move like a force of nature, look like a work of art, and make you wish that road would never end. Grigor, as a former champion here, how nice is it to not only be back in Cincinnati, yeah. but to know that you're going to get the chance to play in front of the fans here? Always, always fun here, to be completely honest. I think since I first came here, I think I was 19 or 20 years old. Now I'm 30. <laughs> Getting uh, up there. Yeah, yeah, and I think I've, I haven't missed a year. Um, clearly last year was a tough one, so we had to be all in New York, but it's a, I would say it's a very humbling place for me. Um, I've, I felt like I've always had great results here, a few slips here and there, but you know, it is how it is. The, it's, a very, it's a very competitive sport. And also this year is going to be, I think, very, very competitive tournament. Uh, a lot of good players, a lot of new players, a lot of young players. So, uh, you know, it's heating up. The summer is getting there. And, um, you know, the best thing is, I think, playing in front of the crowd again here. It's, uh, it's always fun. Other than actually winning the tournament, do you have a favorite Cincy memory? I love going to the amusement park a lot, so of <laughs> course, you know, I went to the trampolines. I've gone to like, like all the places that I could possibly go around, and I, I think, I think what I enjoyed the most in this tournament is the freedom we get. You know, we have our own cars, staying in different places. You got like a bunch of options to go get some food, and you know, and you still have quite a bit of activities around. So, um, so have a pick. Okay, you are more familiar with the Rookwood Cup than most. Not only have you won one, but you actually went yeah, you to the are, factory yeah, yes, to yes, make yes. one yourself. Mm -hmm. Where does your Rookwood Cup live? Is there a Gregor Hall home. of Fame? It's actually at home, uh, and I, I know exactly where it is. And uh, it's in my library. I have a huge library, the whole wall, and I have all different things that I like to collect from different countries where I go and like, um, you know, important like memories to me and that uh, that cup sits right there. Very almost. nice. Okay, and finally, Grigor, yeah. you have quite the social media following. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see some good Cincy coverage <laughs> on the socials this week? Uh, yeah, I've been laying low a little bit to be <laughs> honest on that. I hope, uh, uh, I would love to, I would love to show a little bit more of myself. I think, uh, um, I mean, I appreciate all my fans and everybody that has supported me through my ups and downs and everything that goes along with the, with the sport, but um, I'm working on a few things and hopefully hopefully once that it's settled I'm, I'm gonna be more gonna have more time to kind of uh, uh, engage with the fans and, and show a bit more of myself. Always great to see you Grigor, thank best you. of luck. Thank you so much, thanks for having me. We are coming to you from the Porsche Sideline Suites, new this year, you gotta check them out in Blair. You had a chance to sit down with uh, Grigor Dimitrov, which is perfect timing. I did. Always great to talk to Grigor. And perfect because we have the men's draws fresh in hand. Grigor is one of four former champions on the men's side in the draw this year. Perhaps the most notable of those are number one seed, Daniil Medvedev. At the bottom of the draw, we have Stefan Otsusipas. Both of those guys still alive in the Toronto draw. But really, everywhere you look, star power. 
Blair, I take a look at this draw, and for the first time in I think 10 or 12 years that I've been here, I've never seen a draw where every single person in the first round could win this tournament. It's deep, it's dangerous, and I think we should talk immediately about some of these matches that are coming up. Sure, I mean, listen, eyes are drawn right away to those two wild cards near the top of the draw, two American men in Mackenzie McDonald and Brandon Nakashima, both who have reached their first ATP final within the last month. That's gonna be a fun one. And really, there are some dangerous American floaters throughout this draw. You have John Isner, who's playing great tennis, Riley Opelka, again, both alive in Toronto, Francis Tiafo, Taylor Fritz, and of course, Sebi Korda. Uh, fans here might be getting a chance to see him for the very first time. A lot of people are saying he is one of the next big American hopes. So really great American tennis wherever you look. And Blair, how about Matteo Berrettini? Made it to the finals at Wimbledon. He's here, he's ready to go. Very dangerous. We talked about the four former champs in the draw. I mentioned Medvedev, talked to Grigor. He has a tough first round and Roberto Bautista Agut. Marin Cilic is taking on Aslan Karatsev, who is really one of the stories of the ATP Tour this year. And then, of course, you have a two-time champion in Andy Murray. He'll face a qualifier first round. Blair, previous champions are here. Whether they're having a good season or a bad season, how much confidence do they have coming into the draw when they've actually taken home that Rookwood Trophy? I think in some sense every tournament is a new tournament, but there's definitely a comfort level when you walk onto the grounds here at the Linder Family Tennis Center. Uh, there's, there's nothing quite like it. All right, so there's the men's draw. Angie, two-time finalist here in Cincinnati, so I'm sure there are just tons and tons of really fond memories. Of course, and I'm so, so excited to be back here. I mean, I love the place, I love to play here, and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward uh, this year to playing here again, and uh, I think it will be a great tournament. You know, there's such a rich history. We're in, in the middle of America, the Midwest, where there's a huge tradition, huge history in tennis, and a huge respect for the game. How much do you notice that when you come to a city like Mason, Ohio? You know, you feel it even you go out and you go for, for dinner, you feel, you know, the people here, they love the sport and you feel the respect uh, even from the fans uh, watching the practice, w watching the game and, you know, this is what we play a lot. I mean, to being out there competing against the best players in the world and then, you know, seeing the fans supporting us, having the respect from the players, the fans and the crowd, it's, it's just amazing. And to the Angelique Kerber fan who watches every match that you play, hello, I'm one of them. You really are looking back and form, looking to be happy on the court again. It shows, right? A lot of hard work starts to pay off. Are you happy to be playing well again? Not that you weren't, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, you have always during the career up and downs, and I'm really happy that I play uh, good again. And, you know, I had a great uh, run on the grass court season, and now I have a lot of confidence again to starting the hard court season um, here in Cincinnati for me. And, uh, you know, I'm happy on court. I have a great team, and, you know, I just try to enjoy the game on and off court. And it's, it's great to, yeah, to starting here the, the hard court season for this year. So the draw ceremony that we're doing virtually is brought to you and brought to everybody by Porsche. No secret of how fond you are of Porsche and how fond Porsche is of you. If anybody could sneak out and grab one of those beautiful Taycans and, and steal it for a drive, it would probably be you. How proud are you to be sponsored by such a, a traditional and such a reputable brand? You know, I'm really, um, yeah, I'm really happy and it's an honor for me to be um, a part of Porsche, of the Porsche family and, you know, it's quite a long, long partnership right now and, you know, for me it's, it's great. I mean, I love fast cars. I'm from Germany, <laughs> so, you know, I love the Taycan. It's such a great car and it's electric, so, you know, it's uh, Porsche, it's just the history. They are supporting tennis uh, so much and this is actually what we play at, try to giving back uh, the partners we have on tour and yeah it's great to have them here. Angie it's great to have you here. Tons of fans in Cincinnati rooting for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Andrew, always nice to see Angie. I love the question about the Porsche. There are plenty of Porsches to steal around the grounds here. We're looking over on the, <laughs> on the Taycons and uh, they go, the turbo goes zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds. I mean, sounds like, I wouldn't know, but it sounds like <laughs> fun. All right, back to the tennis. What All do right. we have on the women's side? Blair, we got our number one seed, number one player yep. in the world. Ashley Barty's at the top. You take a look down mm -hmm. at the bottom, Naomi Osaka. We haven't seen her play for a while. It's the same thing as on the men's side, right? You take yeah. a look at the first round, everywhere you look is a potential champion here at the Western and Southern Open. 
Depth has been the name of the women's game for the past couple of years, and gosh, this is no different. I'm just gonna run down some of the, as the kids would say, maybe they don't say this anymore, fire first round matches. We have Barbara Krejcikova, the French Open champion, taking on Daria Kazakina, Maria Sakari taking on Angie Kerber. We have Petra Kvitova taking on a former champion in Madison Keys, Anz Jabur taking on Annette Contivate, Danielle Collins, Shelby Rogers, and then, Andrew, a rematch of the Tokyo final, the Olympic final, Marketa Vondrosheva taking on Belinda Bencic, the gold medal winner. Right, so a little revenge out there. Belinda's gonna probably have the gold medal in her bag. We were out in San Jose <laughs> last week, yeah. and uh, the Brazilian who had the bronze medal, Luisa mm -hmm. Stefani, mm -hmm. had it in her tennis bag. I, I love it. Well, hey, I would carry it everywhere with me. Let's talk about some potential mm -hmm. matchups that we could see once these players get through that elusive mm -hmm. first round. I mean, the one, a couple that I have my eye on, Sloane Stevens possibly taking on another former champ, Garbi Muguruza. And then at the bottom of the draw, if Coco Goff can get past her first round, we have the potential of seeing a Coco Goff Naomi Osaka second round. I mean, the tennis just, it's spectacular when you think about it. Just give you a little background before we say mm -hmm. goodbye. They do the draws, Blair, mm -hmm. because, and people ask me this question all the time, why do you do draws? Why do you have draw ceremonies? They want to make sure that the top players in the world don't meet each other in the first round. So they can strategically put them throughout the draw. So we make sure that the good players or the strong players which you never know this week, because they're all strong, <laughs> can make it deep into the draw, and that we're guaranteed an incredible seven, eight, nine days of tennis here in Cincinnati. That's right, and, and like you said, uh, on the women's side in particular, anything goes. If you're out here from the first day to the last day, you are guaranteed to see championship level tennis. And we'll see you out on the courts. So as you can see, tons of potential matchups that are gonna make this the best Western and Southern Open ever. And we have lots of new updates to help make the tournament more easy, more convenient for the fans, including our Western and Southern Open app. It's your one-stop shop for all things Western and Southern Open, practice courts, orders of play. It also houses your tickets. We are fully digital on tickets this year. And speaking of orders of play, we've got qualifying coming up tomorrow. We can't wait to see you. Some great tennis coming your way in just a matter of hours. And Blair, behind us, you might notice the brand new Tycon, the all-electric Porsche that everybody's talking about, which means we need to say a big thank you to Porsche for helping us make all of this possible. You gotta come check out these new cars. Check out the cars, check out the sideline suites. We'll see you this week.